Hi students, coming to next topic uh, that is the files and streams uh, in object oriented programming language. So far we have been using the IO streams. So whenever you are writing the program, you are using the IO stream library like uh, hash include, IO stream, knowledge. So this is a standard library function that we are using. So, so far we have been using the IO stream standard library. Uh, which provides which provides C in and C out method for reading and writing. So uh, in the program if you want to read a file or to write a file for standard input uh, for reading and the standard output for writing we are using the C in and C out functions. Uh, C in is for input values and see out for to print the values on the screen. This is a standard library IO stream function. Uh, IO stream contains the standard input and output methods. So when us coming to the files and streams to read and write from file we need another standard C++ library which we call it as F stream. So this F stream supports for simultaneous input and output operations on files whenever you are using the files file system instead of going for the io stream the standard uh, library function io stream for reading and writing files you will go for the f stream f stream is nothing but the file stream this file stream supports for simultaneous input and output operations on files actually this f stream will define in three data types so that the three data types are if stream if stream so if stream means input operation it does only the input operations just like c in it takes the values from the file so uh, input operation it provides input operation on files a if stream is used to provide input operation on files so whereas OF OF stream will provide output operation on files. Everything this stream means here the F stream, I, IF stream or OF stream will work on the files. So to read the data from the files you use the IF stream. To write the data onto the files, you, you will use OF stream. So, these are the three data types that are used to write the program. So, let us see file, input and output streams in pictorial representation. So, let us take, this is a disk files. So here you are taking disk files. So from disk files you have to read the data. You means when you are writing the program it has to read data from disk. From disk we will take the data and place it as an input stream. So this is input stream. Input stream process the input data for processing. It process the input data. It takes the data from disk files and place it in the input stream. It takes one by one the input data for processing and place it in the program. The program will use those input data. Program use this input data and it outputs the output data after processing 
after processing you will get the result so whatever the information the result whatever the data that you have to place on the output that output data will be placed on the output stream from output stream it has to write data on to disk so this is the file operation so whatever the data that you have to be taken and you have to be written that will be from disk files so read the data first from disk files and place it on the input stream so that input data will be processing and it does the program after the program the output will be processing to the output stream and it writes the data onto the screen onto the disk this is about the just the file input and output streams now coming to the stream classes stream classes so the stream classes or uh, i was stream so i was stream is a standard uh, function library which holds all the input and output data like see in and see out so this stand here you are having if stream for input of stream for output f stream will handle both the input and output i stream i stream is a standard library function only uh, having the c in o stream it's a standard output library function so i stream will be connected to i f stream means whatever the features that is there in the i stream will be placed on the i f stream this i f stream will add some more features and make uh, useful means it uh, reads the data from the disk and o stream will be connected to o f stream actually this i stream and o stream are nothing but i was stream i was stream consisting of both the input and output standard functions and this i was stream will be connected to f stream so this is the representation of the stream classes the stream classes this i stream o stream and i was stream are the standard functions these are these will be used for the standard input output functions and these will be for the file file organizations when you are uh, dealing with the file organization that is the io classes so you will go for the if stream of stream and the f stream instead of using the standard library function so this is about the files and streams introduction so in the next video i will explain about how to open a file how to close the file reading a file and writing a file thank you